Mic check one, two. Hello. We are live. Welcome everyone. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing good. I am just uh, sending a message to my sister. There we go. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing good. Who do we have here? You're very late. I am, mate. Yeah. I didn't really feel well, to be honest. I'll be honest with you. Didn't really feel well, mate. And it was because I was really, really hungry. So, yeah. Welcome, everyone. David, Michael, Sam, Lessing, Kev, Christian, PK, birthday, yeah. Uh, Charles, Crash and Burn, Chris Farrell, Game Fix, uh, Evgeny, Salusa, John, Michael, Safe, Ant, Taco Fort, Craig, Topcat, Scoot, Evening My Lover, Soulborn, Game Fix Fillet, uh, Yumitz, Iggy, I see me rolling, <laughs> Martin, Gibbo, Abby, Zipper, welcome. Birthday beats. I can't play music, mate, not on YouTube. Uh, but thank you, mate, welcome. Happy 21st. Yep, I'm definitely only 24, 21 today. <laughs> hey, Angela's here, welcome. Not seen you for a while. 165 pound in Mingo. Nice, awesome. Thank you for the um, tenor for the birthday as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, Wesley, hi, gorgeous. Craig, birthday reborn. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, I do wish I was only 21. I do indeed. I do indeed. Cheers, Alan. Cheers, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. How old are you now? I'm 34. I know. I look good, don't I? I look really good for 34. I haven't even done my hair. Oh well. Look at that. <laughs> Thought that counted. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, right. I've got a little fair bit of work on today. <coughs> marrying, marrying you going console fixer. <laughs> 34 plus VAT. Yeah. He's had a hard paper round. You get one of them. Actually, no, you know what? Forget that, Kev. Forget that. You're not having that. I've got two for Sophie. Your wife. You don't get the famous finger. Your wife gets two. <laughs> Mental health took a tumble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Cheers, for me, pair. I don't drink, but thank you. Appreciate it, mate. Just had a, a Chinese. <coughs> Just had a Chinese food. Um, chicken balls and a uh, special curry. Welcome, Jess. She said, she just said, did I hear my name? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Jess. Cheers, mate. Only one third done, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry to Travis's mum, but Sophie's a little bit better looking. <laughs> oh, dear. Can't beat a good chicken ball. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Cheers, Rex. I appreciate that, mate. Uh, 
Did Sarah have colder, but colder balls? <laughs> With that hairstyle, you look like a cockatoo. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get to a repair. Hello all from Indiana, USA. Welcome, Gary. Prawn ball. Never tried them. I don't think I've ever tried prawn. Is that like just a just like a chicken ball, but um, but with prawns instead, like battered prawn ball, battered prawns? Never tried that. Never tried that. Sounds nice though. I like prawns. Right. Anyway, let's crack on with the repair because unfortunately I still have work to do. Enough with the balls. <laughs> All right, so first one of the evening. Oh, why do they have to be blue screen? No. It was supposed to be water damaged. It was supposed to be water damaged. Oh. Well, it's definitely the right cereal. Spray paint red. How's the move been so far? Uh, we haven't we haven't started yet. Oh, why does it have to be a blue screen of death? I don't want to re-ball it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to re-ball it. Right, oi, backlight, come back on, thank you. Shut up and fix it. <laughs> Happy birthday, you twat. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Birthday reball, it is, yeah. All right, well, this is blue screen of death, then. Find the stencil yet. Uh, yes, I have. I have indeed. This is... A uh, Animal Crossing limited edition, I think. Is it always a reball with a blue screen? No, it can be a it can be a reflow. Uh, it depends what it is. It depends what the um, what the cause is, I suppose. I've got to find the right screwdrivers now. Yeah, it depends what the courses are, mate. Um, it can be RAM, it can be CPU. I mean, well, the main cause of a blue screen of death is it's always a communication issue between the CPU and RAM. So it's like when the, when the CPU can't communicate with the RAM and the RAM can't communicate with the CPU, then basically it comes up with a blue screen. So... Yeah. Okay, screw missing. Yeah, so it's literally a communication issue between CPU and RAM. So it could be the RAM, could be the CPU. Could just be that it is actually water damage like it says on the ticket. And in actual fact, it's just got some sort of... Um, Corrosion under the CPU or RAM. In that case, a reflow would work. Hmm. Right, we've got some damage to one of the screw threads. Why does it have to be a blue screen of death for the first job? It's pretty annoying. Right, there's going to be fireworks tonight as well, by the way. I think it's Diwali, isn't it? I think. Could be wrong. I think it's Diwali. Ha <laughs> oh, computer boot are you beast. <laughs> Com 
Computer Boots has super chatted $50. My name is Phil Danks and Computer Booter is the best of the best, a true legend. I can only wish to compare, since today is my 12th birthday, I wish to grow up to be just like him. Love you Philly E boy E I, heart, thanks for all your support. <laughs> Computer Booter, you legend. <laughs> You're live right now, aren't you Mr. Booter? Uh, let me get a link to Computer Booter's channel. That's right, free show tape for fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, mate, you absolute legend! You beautiful, beautiful person. Thank you. I really appreciate that, mate. I got one thing I've got for you, though. Oh, you wouldn't have heard that very well, but I just farted. <laughs> Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. Everyone, go check Computer Booter out. Dude's a legend. Thank you. Ah, Lewis, uh, yes, I did. Can you email me, mate? Because I can't seem to find your email. I've done them. They are done, mate. Right, In fact, there's one. Uh, there's one right there. Uh, they are done, bud. Uh, but I can't find your email. I'll <laughs> back to work. No worries, dude. Mate, you absolute legend. Thank you, bro. Okay. Yeah, look, Inception time. How's this? Inception time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Booter. I really appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Buy yourself a new paintbrush. Happy birthday, Phil. <laughs> Buy yourself a new paintbrush. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that, mate. <laughs> I, will, I will be sure to buy some new paintbrushes. These ones are shit. Like, I had some before, and they were really, really good. I can't remember where I got them from. But these ones are shit. They've, they've lasted like a couple of weeks. And there was like eight quid for a set. Like it were, They weren't overly cheap. But, yeah. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. Hey, Travis is here, the prick. I think I know old... I think I know old Computer Booter someone, eh? Because I've, I've donated a few times to Computer Booter. I don't think he's quite accounted to 50. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Cheers, John. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that, buddy. Right. Can't believe I managed to pick a blue screen of death job. Why do they have to be blue screen? I hate blue screen of death on the Nintendo Switch. And it has to be the HID board as well, doesn't it? So the HID board, these are really, really common for Blue Screen of Death. So I don't know what it was about this specific board. But, yeah. Oh. Hey, Michael. Thank you, mate. Michael S. Super Chatted five dollars and one cent. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phil. Happy birthday, Travis Mumalava. <laughs> Cheers, Michael. Thank you, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. No, it's Mr. Kevin Civil's wife that I'm in love with now. Kevin Civil's wife, as in Civil 2004. Cheers, Chris. Thank you, mate. Did you get the money I sent you? Um, 
Did I get the money? Um, don't think so. What was that, mate? What was it and how did you send What was it for and how did you send it? Um, how did you send how did you send the payment just uh, just let me know and I'll check it bud his farts have a British accent <laughs> oh shit oh yeah it's Emily oh I wonder why I recognise the name Mark Kemp I just realised you blew as well. I'm such an idiot. Um, hang on, let me check. Where did you send it to? Santander. By the way, can everyone say... Mark Kemp. Can everyone say happy birthday to Mark Kemp? It's not Mark Kemp. It's my twin sister, Emily. On her son's account. Can everyone say happy birthday to my sister? Because it's her birthday as well. Why wouldn't you recognize, well, you should recognise the name of your nephew. Yeah, but... It's, uh... Yeah, I got it, Em. Sorry, I just looked at my account and it was significantly more than what it was half an hour ago. <laughs> Hang on. Let me move this because it... I don't want money on debit cards. It's YouTube payday. Did she get the looks? Yep, she got the looks and the brain because she's got a higher IQ than me. So, I'm fucked. <laughs> Happy birthday, Phil C. Still, so. Yeah, thank you. Captain Ron, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. I'll give that to Emily. Because, because, uh. Super chatted ten dollars. Happy birthday, Phil. Happy birthday, Mark Kemp. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. I'll give that to Emily. And Rock has a higher IQ than you. Eat shit, you prick. <laughs> Wanker. Phil starting holy fans. <laughs> well, actually, I've got a TikTok now. If everyone wants to, ever, anyone wants to check me out on TikTok. Let me just find my uh, channel link. Yeah, I'll go to TikTok now if everyone wants to, anyone wants to check that out. I just posted a link to TikTok. A bathroom wall except for videos, yeah, and that for kids. It's free promo. It's free promotion, mate. That's the way I see it. Um, like any publicity is good publicity, and if it, it's just one more tool to be able to get people, like, because yeah, kids scroll. Like this, this is my logic in this. Okay, kids use TikTok. Hey, Evgeny, thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. My birthday Sunday, happy birthday. Was it your birth it's your birthday Sunday coming? Oh happy birthday, dude. Evgeny Kiborko super shattered ten dollars. Thank you, mate, I really appreciate that. If it wasn't your birthday, I would kick you in the nuts for me for me buying that broken switch OLED. Ha <laughs> We got our first sponsor through TikTok because of you. It's awesome, dude. Uh no, but here's my logic on this. Kids use TikTok. Like TikTok is a platform for kids, and I and I have said, and I will always say, any platform that is designed to target kids is going to target predators. However, what if just for one moment we could divert their attention away by getting them involved in repair and getting them interested in repair, and also it brings more, um, it brings more views and more attention to repair for 
ordinary people as well. Like if people get recommended a, like let's say for example that liquid damage PS5 from the other day, and they're like, oh shit, you can actually fix this stuff. It might get them interested. Might get them interested. Draw the line at TikTok. <laughs> hey, Andrew Bean. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. DJ10, welcome. Kids break switches. Kids view your TikTok. Kids tell parents to get you to fix it. There is that. There is that. There is an ulterior motive, and it does get me more business, obviously, of course. But, you know, it's the main thing is to try and draw more people over to getting interested in repair. Even if you just get kids interested in repair. Like, I sat there with my nephew, Mark. Um, that's his account to my sister's on. Uh, I sat there, he asked me to fix his Xbox, and I turned around and I said, no. I said, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you how to do it. And he sat there, he fixed it, and he loved every single second of it. Every single second, he... He loved it. Are you going, Em? You suck. All right, no worries. If anyone wants to send me a birthday present, I accept gifts in the shape of seven bedroom houses, Shetland ponies, or I escort our best turbos. <laughs> You're a twat. You're a twat. Uh, I'll just sent uh thing Happy birthday, you old ginger slag. Mate, thank you dude. I really appreciate that. Mate, that means a lot. That's a nice message. Thank you. Wayne's World of Repairs super shattered twenty two dollars and thirty cents. Happy B Day, you old ginger slag. I know you take some stick, but you're one of my best mates and a true inspiration to me and many, many others. Proud of you, buddy. Thank you, Wayne. I really appreciate that, mate. Everyone check Wayne out as well. Exclamation point Wayne. Let's let's type that. Everyone check Wayne out. He's a legend. Wear his heart on his sleeve. Honestly, genuinely nice guy. Highly recommend checking him out. There's a link in chat. This any good to you? Uh... Wayne has some great fixes. Yep. Wayne King. Yep. Wayne King. Uh... Sorry, my sister's messaging me and I don't speak to her very often. My other, sp my other sister. <laughs> hey, Michael, you legend. Phil, you're a lawyer, you don't pay tax. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Message you on Discord. Um I'll check in I'll check in a little while, mate. Um Michael Mage, thank you, mate. You're really generous. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, right, let me just uh, carry on disassembling this while my sister's messaging me, my other sister. I agree, Alex, yeah. 
Yeah, so I made my nephew, he was like eight at the time or something, eight or nine. And I told him, I said, no, I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you what to do and you can do it yourself. It, it was simple. It was it was just overeating. So I taught him to service his Xbox. And he loved every second. So if I can just get one person interested in repair, like that, that's a win right there. Right, this has been damaged. This has had some internal damage, uh, some uh, impact damage. This might be why it's got a blue screen. Uh... One sec, I'm just going to look at something. My sister just sent me a product. And she, wa she wants to know if it's any good to me. So I'm just going to have a look. Kodak Pix Pro SL25. Smart lens. Oh, no. No, I know what it is now. Right. Let's pop under the scope. <laughs> Family will be asleep soon and they'll stop messaging me. <laughs> right. So... Hey, Acid, you beast. Thank you, mate. $27 Thank you, Termination. Happy birthday, pal. Put it towards the new house fund. Acid, thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, mate. Right, check this out. This could be the reason why we're getting blue screen. That's got a dent right by the RAM. Okay, this is rusted. Are you moving yet? Not yet. Hmm. Even a slacker can get paid these days. Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you, Nick. You absolute beast. Hey, look, we've got another channel I need to share it out. Even a slacker can get paid these days. Happy birthday, Phil. Well, right, I'm going to post two links. I'm going to post one for Nick Kennedy. Definitely recommend checking him out. He does a really good vlog. Uh, a really good vlog. And also, antisocial anti -social experience as well, because he... Sorry, antisocial experiment. Um, because. Oh, hang on. Is it antisocial experiment? <laughs> antisocial. It is antisocial experience. I got it right the first time. Because he does. He's got two channels. He's got his own channel, which is where he does repairs and things, and then he's got a podcast as well. Really recommend it. The indication stick is missing as well. Yep, it is, mate. It is. But this is rusted. I'm in two minds on this one because it's dented. It's rusted. And apparently it's liquid damaged. Hmm. This might be a bit too far gone, guys. Oh, 
half asleep. No worries, Wayne. Thank you, dude. No, this is what a customer sent in. Right, so we've got some damage here. I mean, this isn't too bad. But this is all rusted to hell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, is that meant to be a resistor? Because that's missing. For a start. Okay, this shield has got to go. This shield cannot stay on this board. Right, this shield has got to be taken off. Because all this is going to do is just make things a million times worse. I'm surprised this even turns on, let alone anything else. Okay, we don't seem to have that much damage, to be honest. Like, there's a bit of corrosion here and there, and like the there's a little bit of rust, but. It don't appear to be that bad. By the way, I forgot to mention we've got some damage around the BQ area, so the battery management. It don't appear that bad, but that shield... That's got to go. Look, that shield for that CPU has got to go. Look, that can't stay on the board. So we know the LCD is good. We know the backlight's good. We know that it's not got a power issue. So I think... Well, task number one is going to be to get that shield off. I think. I think task number one is going to be to get that shield off. That shield's got to come off. But that cannot stay on there. I can take one off a donor board and replace it. Yeah, I did see that, Scoot. Congratulations, mate. I think I should give this a crack. I think I should attempt this. You have a little bit of PCB in your shield, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should give this a crack. What do you guys reckon? YouTube suspended your account, what for? Thank you, D11, I appreciate that. And welcome to the live stream, mate. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, all right. That shield has to come off, like you can't, can't leave that shield on. Because all that shield is gonna do is, is 
rust away it's gonna cause rust to land on the board when it's back in the case and of course rust is going to be conductive Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing on Twitch, mate. Right, so what I do with these when I'm trying to take these shields off is I'll desolder a little bit like, the, like this is now. So some of this shield is desoldered now, so then I'll remove the heat. But I'll get rid of the heat and then move the tweezers so as I can lift it from elsewhere. But get rid of the heat just so as the solder re-solidifies and then that way then it's not just gonna drop back down and re-solder. Okay, there you go. So yeah, all that's going to do is it's going to cause issues in the future if that shield is on there. I can put another shield on by desoldering one off another board. That's not really an issue. And plus now I can actually get to the rest of the board. Wow, that board is hot. So I think a couple of these components here we're going to need replacing. Okay. How much are Atoms? I think they're about £130, £140 on AliExpress, something like that. I agree with Nick. Save, save up for the Atoms. getting rid of some of this rust. What's the deal there? <laughs> Mr. Bridger, you legend. He's a bit of a prick, but he fixes tech quick. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Mr. 
and that's why we love that guy too. Thumbs up. <laughs> Cheers, dude. <laughs> This is looking rough in some places. And this is what rust does when you leave a console liquid damaged. Or rather, this is what it does when you leave consoles liquid damaged. Yeah, so this looks really, really rough at the minute. Right, that pad there can be saved. Okay, that pad's not gone. Alright, that's not too bad. Now I've scraped it away. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now I've scraped it a little bit. And by the way, those caps will make a huge difference because they are caps on the RAM. So it's going to need those caps to work.
Are those commercials in the background? No, Sarah's got a phone on, mate. I can't seem to... see out of both eyepieces for some reason. Alright, time to get a donor board. Oh, damn it. I've just knocked my power cable off. Hang on. Bear with it a second, guys. I've just knocked my power off on the microscope. One second. No, she's on YouTube, mate. Need to take the shield off this one. I'm gonna need to take the shield off this donor board. There we go. What's happening here? You do not want to know, mate. Too much. Too much damage. Ow, 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 ow. That board is damn hot. I just need to wait for the hot air to stop. There we go. So I can put my nozzle back on. Well, I know this is out of focus, but I do just want to remove these components without keep having to refocus the board. Or rather refocus the, uh, the scope. That's not meant to have a component there. If this other board's anything to go by.
Hey, Mark! Thank you, Woody. I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Damn it. My nozzles just fell off on me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I need to wait for it to turn off so I can put the nozzle back on now. Yeah, you would turn on as soon as I lift you up off the stand, wouldn't you? Asshole. Might be time for a new nozzle. If that keeps falling off. In fact, I need to buy a new element anyway. Actually, no, I don't, because I've got a brand new one. For It's almost time for a new element. Right. Uh. 
Okie dokie. Just gonna sort out these um, ground pads where the shield's meant to go. There we go. Is it low melt solder? Uh, what this? No. All right. Okay, where's the pube from? Who's responsible for the pube? Which one of y'all left a pube on my board? Right, this here. This has been knocked off removing the shields. Not by me, by someone else. Like someone knocked that off removing the shield. Whoever removed the shield last time. Someone did. And that component there got knocked off because of that. Damn it. All right. So there's that missing component replaced. And now, I'm gonna fix up this area.
start with that, 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 those. And then give that a minor reflow. And then just scrape that a little bit because it was a little bit corroded. <coughs> just a tad. Right, what do we need off here? One, two, three caps. Okay. Reflow that a bit. Cheers, John. Thank you, mate. Let's focus on chat. I did. Thank you, AppTV. Uh, did I miss something, guys and girls? Hi, Phil. I have an Xbox One S. I got off someone the other day. He said he's stuck in 640. So I just need a reflash. I'll go in 43. Flashing and still doing it. Um, it could be a HDMI port. 
but the most likely scenario is either the HDMI encoder, the ReDriver, or the ESDIC, one of those two. Or maybe both. I think I've got a video on the channel for that, mate. Cheers, boy. Thank you, mate. So, yeah, I was very focused on what I was doing there, guys, because, I, I mean, I am working around the CPU here. Like, it's not... It's not exactly a safe area to be working around. It's very, very sensitive. Which is why I've got my airflow and my airflow well I had that set at 460 degrees Celsius at 60 percent sorry 480 degrees Celsius at 60 percent airflow because I wanted to damn fireworks shut up fireworks I said shut up I said shut up stop it fucking fireworks It's okay, I'll wait. Finished? Iggy Boom super chatted five dollars and fifty seven cents. Happy thirty three plus one level. Damn it. Enjoying the stream as usual. Smiling face. Thank you, Iggy. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's Diwali, yeah. It is Diwali. Uh, we're fixing a very liquid damaged Nintendo Switch, by the way. Hey, the bonehead. The bonehead tipped two dollars and twenty-three cents. Travis's mum has been cocked more times than Elma Fudd's shotgun. They call her the squirrel. She's always got some nuts in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dude. Thank you. Oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> What's the fireworks for? It's Diwali, mate. Green artifact went on but stuck in 640. Uh, try changing the HDMI for port first because that's going to be the easiest thing to change. But if it's not there, it'll be the retimer, most likely. It's not fireworks, that's all the consoles you've bought this one that's blowing up. Yeah, that sounds about right, mate. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Look, there's no real... At the mini, I mean, until we actually test this now, well, in a mini, um, there's no real brain power being used here. I'm just replacing what I can see is bad. Like that. That damn fireworks. It's not around here. I'm working around the connector. Oh, Mike, you absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, mate. What a beast. What an absolute legend. Thank you, dude. Yeah, it's like here. I'm working around a plastic connector, right? And you might think, oh... I don't want to put the hot air too hot because I'm going to damage the connector. But that's not true. In fact, the hotter the better. I mean, well, within reason, the hotter the better. And the reason I say that is because if you've got a lot of heat concentrated on a uh, specific uh, area, you're going to remove the components quicker and the heat hasn't really got the chance to travel. Right? So... 
if the heat hasn't got a chance to travel over to uh, the connector, then it's not going to damage the connector. This is pretty rough on this BQ chip. I might just be able to run the iron over this now. But I'm actually thinking remove it. Dodgy charge port. What, on this? No, it's just really badly liquid damage, mate. So you can see here, like, I haven't damaged this connector at all. Right, look at that. Because I'm using heat really, really quickly. Like, the heat's fast and hot. Fast and hot, and that's key to not damaging the connector. Now, I could go 440. It's going to take a little bit longer to remove it, and it increases my chances of the heat travelling and damaging the connector. With the current value of the pen, that's 12 grand. <laughs> You guys are really kind, I really appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, even Travis sometimes. Right, I'm actually going to get rid of that BQ chip. I'll just put it down the board. Uh, well, I'll put a replacement on. I'm just going to grab one off this donor board. I may as well. Um, it's kind of pointless uh, using a new one if I go donor board out and ready. And I'm going to be removing all the components off this circuit anyway. So it just makes my life a little bit easier doing that. I'll straighten this up in a sec. But you look at how fast I was moving that hot air around then. That's another way you can stop it damaging connectors. Is by just moving the heat really, really quick. I know we've got a little bit of singed right on the edge, but honestly, that's nothing. But if you don't, if you want to, another way of avoiding damaging the connector, just move your heat around real quick. That'll stop it melting the plastic. And then just come in with a big swoop look.
I do have a little bit of singeing on the connector, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it could and would have been if I'd have used a lower temperature. And also, I'm not really bothered about the Joy-Con connector because if I can't get this working, then I couldn't care less about the Joy-Cons. Let's be honest. Couldn't care less about the Joy-Cons if I can't get it working. Damn it. Just dropped a cap. I'll have to take them from another board. I actually need some different tweezers. See what I mean about not moving the uh, board around, uh, the heat around? Yeet, motherfucker! Whose birthday is it? Uh, it's mine, mate. Well, for another 23 minutes. <laughs>
All right, it's clean up time. Any further news on the house? No, I'm just waiting for the checks to go through on that house that we've applied for. Actually, I'll come from under the microscope while I'm doing this. It's probably easier. Wow, Whew. that much isopropyl alcohol is not good for you. <laughs> Oi, old BQ, get off. That BQ actually still works, so I can clean that up and reuse it. I mean, it was powering on with the charger, so I'm assuming it still works. Let's dry that all off. This is like the magic trick you see on Houdini where he wraps something in a towel and then just like swaps it. <laughs> I'll just swap that for another board. You guys don't know that, so just don't tell yourself, okay? Don't tell yourself I've just swapped that board for something else. It's like a magic trick. No one will know. So now I'm going to pretend that that board has been magically fixed by doing all of that. Light a sig. I will, but not here. <laughs> not on this bench. Not on this bench. Alright, let's actually have a look at that, see how it looks now. Hmm, that could do with a, a little bit of a clean up. And it's not bad, but it could do with a bit of a clean up. That's actually had a replacement port before. Whoever's done that though, why did they not do a better job of them ground legs? Like, you've done a good job there, whoever's done this. Why not do a better job of the ground legs? Feel like I need to scrape some of this conformal coating away just to make sure we've got continuity across it all. I know this looks like I'm being destructive, but I'm making sure there's no breaks on the um, board where that damage was. Like here. I 
I can always cover that up, right? I can always recoat that. But I need to make sure there's no break. You can't even see it, damn it. Sorry, guys. Looks like I'm being destructive there, but I'm really not. I'm really not. There is a method to that madness. Exposing that copper. Like, I can re-coat that with fresh conformal coating. But it just makes sure there's no break in it, that's all. Yeah, that looks fine. So I can recoat that now and it'll be okay. But at least I know. At least I know. Hmm, why does that seem thick? I might need to consider replacing this. Might need to consider replacing this conformal coating. There you go. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Do 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 do. Now where the hell is my UV light? There the hell is my UV light.
Right. <laughs> he got flucked for your birthday. Any Philly fires? No, no, you don't. Not yet. I got Travis's bomb for, for my birthday, yeah. Alright, well that's a million times better anyway. A um, little bit of melted to that connector, but... I mean, it still opens and closes. Overall, not bad. All these have been replaced. Uh, this has been replaced. Got rid of the rusted shield and um, that's been replaced and I think that was it I don't think there's any more damage so I think we've got rid of all of the liquid damage so I think we're good there I think we're good there <clears throat> Right, now that I've fixed all of that liquid, do we get a blue screen still? Or, or is it going to work? Or rather, now that I've fixed all the liquid damage, not fix all the liquid, should I say. Do we still get a blue screen? Ah, damn it. Damn it. Right, is it the RAM? Or is it pressure on the RAM? Oh. Oh. You rat bastard. I thought it was going to work then for a second. Okay, how about pressure on the... Oh, I'm gone. Uh-oh. Ow. Yeah, okay. Now I know what's wrong. Okay, now I know what's wrong. Right. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Thermal cam. People like the thermal cam. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. 
That, my friends, is a very, very hot ramp chip right there. Around 75 degrees Celsius. That ram chip. That ram's dead. And that is why we've got that is why we've got a blue screen. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. I wonder why that's burning me. Right. So we have a dead ram chip, okay. We have a dead ram chip. Well, that's not too bad. It's not as bad as having to reboard the CPU, right? Wow, that's hot. Wow, that's real hot. All right. I wonder if it's dead or if it's just got rust under it that I can push out with a reflow. Actually, just to oh uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's just let's just try reflowing it. I wonder if it's just got rust under it that I could push out with a reflow. Nah, let's just remove it. Well, well, that crap wasn't coming out with a reflow, was it? It did have rust underneath it. And that would explain why it's short. So that ramp trip probably isn't dead. But it's not worth reusing it. I might as well just take one from a donor, reboil it, and be happy with it. Oh wow, we have some damage pads as well. We have some damage pads as well. Yeah, that ramp chip probably isn't dead. It's probably just sorting out because of that rust that was underneath it, but... You know. But that just um, solidifies my theory, really, on why I, had to, why I had to remove that shield. Because it's just going to happen again in the future if I didn't.
All right, I'll clean the pads. So I'll just get rid of all of this solder that's on the pads. Now that I've replaced it with leaded. I feel all this crap here. What is that? Wow, what the hell is that? A bunch of pubes or what? Hmm. That shit looked like Travis's mum after a week of isolation. Cotton bud hairs. Um, did I use cotton buds on this part? I don't think I did. Damn it. Hello, hello Rachel. Rachel's my sister by the way. Hi. Cheers, super face. Thank you, mate. Rub them balls. Oh, yeah. You love it. You absolutely love it, you dirty, dirty boy. Man, these pads are messed up. Nowhere near as bad as the one I saw the other day, though. Right. I'll sort those out in a second. Just want to inspect these. Not his pubes, he's a sconner. <laughs> Okay, that one's completely missing. Okay, so that pad's missing. 
That pad's not. That pad's there. Okay, the good news is all the pads where the voyeurs are underneath the pad are actually there. That's good news. Because that means that it's not going to be incredibly difficult to actually sort out. It's a Nintendo Switch, right? Really badly liquid damage Nintendo Switch. All right. It's almost uh, go and grab a cup of coffee time, I think. Almost. Yeah, so this is the RAM that I'm currently repairing because this RAM I see was short. All right. I think we're good there. Just 
just need to fix some of these pads. that pad even there where that cap is hmm yeah it's there all right so we've got one missing pad And unfortunately, it's not ground. However, ooh, that's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. The pad's missing. And if you look, where the actual pad is unfortunately there's the pad deep inside the board And I don't know where that goes. That's the problem. I don't know where that goes. Ooh, that might be bad. Nah, it hasn't sent voltage to the CPU. It, the CPU is good. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get away with this, to be honest. I'm going to struggle, for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to struggle with this one to get that pad back.
چه مسیحی هستن که من lots of joy joints yeah i'm not concerned about that at the minute i'm more concerned with getting that pad back at the minute i don't know how i'm going to do it i'm going to try and i've done it before i've succeeded before at it but it's not easy Definitely far from easy without knowing where it goes. <coughs> Still working on the rust bucket, yeah. Okay, managed to get some solder onto the pad, or rather onto the via, not the pad, there's no pad there, I'm trying to create one. Manage to get sold onto there. <laughs> Drop a quarter of a millimeter solder ball there, and then if I knock my airflow right the way down to one percent. I might just be able to flow the ball onto the via. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. And then, just tinning some 0.06 millimeter jumper wire. So like half of, half of 0.1 millimeter.
And that is literally, well, there. That is literally human hair length, uh, human hair width. Right there. Got to get rid of this cap. So I know I replaced them like half an hour ago, but. They've got to go. Oh, balls. They had to go. I can put them back later. Well, I'm not bothered about that. Can anyone see what I did what I did there? Does anyone see what I did? Do be do do do. I mean, give me a decent pair of bloody tweezers. Let me see what you didn't. What didn't I do, mate? What didn't I do? Damn it. Fill me in. Can you fill me in?
Cheers, David. Oh, happy birthday, Taylor. See how this looks. Damn it. Don't know if that worked. No. No, it didn't. Damn. Damn it. Oh, well, that made a bond. Surely that made a bond. Surely that made a bond. It's taking you four weeks. <laughs> I'm doing this more for principle now. Just because... All right, let's get a diode reading of what this says. But not from here. Ho-ho, oh, we've got a reading. We got a reading. Connection to pin six. Pin six. What pin six? I don't know where pin one is, to be honest. Oh, that is pin six, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, it's got connection. It's got a contact. So the only thing that concerns me there now is that maybe we could end up with the one solder ball too big.
So I think shave a little bit off that part there. And then when I actually reball the chip, like a replacement chip. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I broke the connection. You son of a bastard. I broke the contact. Now that might be a good thing because when it reflows now it might give me a better contact and be a little bit closer to uh, flat to the board. Yeah, that's better. And it's flatter to the board now. All right, well, that works. Cool. Twenty-two thirty SSD. Probably Amazon. What do you need? An SSD for? What do you call it? You, you need a replacement SSD. I think they're expensive, dude. Cheers, Cash Run. Thanks, mate. Steam Deck. I mean, I could sell you a one terabyte, but the 2230 SSD is expensive. Yeah, 2230 SSD is really expensive. I've got a couple available, but they're not cheap at all. Uh, where's that donor board I just had? Uh, do, 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 do. Where's that HID board I just had? <laughs> Stuffy that will do. Yeah, you can drop me a DM, um, Paul, if you if you do need a twenty two thirty SSD. But they're about I know they're about two hundred and twenty pound brand new. I could sell you I could sell you one, but they're not cheap. Today's Phil's birthday, mine was Friday. Happy birthday for Friday, mate. Technically not mine now, it's past midnight, but yeah. Cheers, Paul.
Right. Right, uh, give me my normal bloody tip. Hate that tip. I only use it when I absolutely need to. It's annoying. I don't hate the tip, I hate the size of it. That's what she said. Ha, ha, ha. Right, I wonder, I wonder if I can really quickly see my sweet ram stencil. Probably not. Probably not. Oh well. Okay, well, never mind. I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee in a second. I'm just going to clean up this, uh, this ram. I mean, to be fair, it won't take me long reboiling this manually. It's 200 balls.
It's just 200 balls. Yeah, night Chris. Night everyone if you're leaving or whoever's leaving. I saw a couple of people say it, I think. Yep, have a good night, thank you. I really appreciate you hanging out. Oh, I wish I could go to bed. Right, pretty much good to go there, all I need now is a coffee. All I need now is a coffee. All right, I will be back in a few minutes. Thank you, Delta. Thank you, got a lot of balls, yeah. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. I think I need one, two sugars. <laughs> I'll be back.
and I'm back. Hello. Jesus Christ, how did I lose 70 viewers? Bro. That's not funny. Eh? <laughs> no, I'm back. Right, let's get these three balls, shall we? A little bit of flux. A little bit of flux. Uh, uh, pardon me. Thanks for the bad news, you brick. You're black since when? <laughs> <laughs> No comment. Oh shit, that's way too many. Whoops. That is way too many. There's like a thousand there. And that's not even exaggerating. Chuck it back in the canal. <laughs> Any progress on what, mate? Wow, that really is way too many. House hunting. Uh, not yet, no. Maybe one house I'll find out in the next few days. It all depends whether I pass the checks. The landlord seems to like me, sort of. Um, if I can, if I can go that far as to say that, I mean, the landlord seems to like me. So if I fail any checks, it's whether or not he overrules what the um, the agency say, because he can do that, right? So if the landlord likes me that much, then he could, if I fail any checks, like any kind of credit reference checks or anything like that, which there is a chance I could. Um, so if I fail any credit reference checks, he can technically overrule the agency and say, no, I want to rent to him anyway. So I guess it all depends on what kind of impression I made to the landlord. It really does depend what kind of impression I made.
Yes, I do wish I uh, knew where my stencil was. Indeed. I think I need to buy another one of these. I know where my... Like, I can put my hand to my... Um, my CPU stencil right now. But... I don't know where... My main stencil is. The one with all of the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, I need to get rid of some of these balls. There's way too many here. Six year waiting list for oh. I haven't logged into Instagram for years. Um, the twenty-two thirty, the SSDs. I'll put if I've if I sell any of the SSDs, I'll probably sell them at like one fifty. I would say. Hundred and fifty pound. They're worth more than that. The thing I have to remember as well is I need to try and pull back some money on the on them SSDs. Uh, this is the RAM off a Nintendo Switch, mate. Um, so it came in for water damage. It was blue screen, but it was rusty to hell. I've cleaned up the board. And I've restored one of the traces on the RAM as well. Um, but the RAM itself was short. And no amount of reflowing was ever going to fix that RAM. Even if it wasn't short, the pads were gone. But the pads were knackered. So even if it wasn't sh internally short, or, you know, if it wasn't... I don't know if it was internally short, or if it was down to rust underneath the, si underneath the RAM chips. Um, but basically... The uh, the pads were gone anyway, so either way, that ram had to come off. The other one might end up having to come off as well. That's the problem.
Mixed Master Mentors became a member. Oh, we've got some. Got a renewal. Uh, a member. Mixed Master, thank you, mate. Oh, is that renewals? Hang on. Snowy Snow Wolf became a member. Thank you to the renewals, I appreciate it. Hate doing this. I really do wish I knew where the stencil was for these. Right, even though it's not many balls, they are 0.25 mil balls as well, so not exactly the best chips chips to have to reball. You could get away with 0.3 mil, but Honestly, it really doesn't matter as long as as long as all of the balls are even. What I should have done really was pour 0.35mm balls on and then put a 0.25mm ball on that one where I had to drop a ball on the via. That's what I should have done.
I could actually work out where that ball is and just remove the ball off there completely. That could be an idea. Hmm, way too many. Why is, it all, <clears throat> why is it always the last couple that never want to sit down on the pads? Come on. Right, let's flow these down.
perfect. Absolutely perfect. Except that one. Everyone should know where to work with balls. Yep. Cheers, Evan. Thank you, mate. That just comes down to experience, mate. <coughs> Practice and experience, that's all that is. Right. Okay, let's bring the board back. I'm going to need to do a little bit of prep work to this before I can consider it ready. So, basically, what I need to do is I need to conform or coat some of it. So, just drop some coating over the top of some of it just to basically um, stop the solder balls from overflowing. So you might notice that I'm popping a little bit of coating on solder pad on the pads which have got like a little bit of the trace exposed. I don't want the trace exposed because that'll cause the solder that's on the pads to overflow. So If I just cover that with coating, then that will stop that from happening, basically. Patience is the same with your balls. Yeah, you know it. Let's cure that with UV light.
Right. So there's that. And then I think I need to restore these caps again now. Because they got knocked they got knocked about and got knocked off when I was messing around with the uh the ramp. You little bastard. That fucking jumper wire came off. Damn it. You son of a bitch. The jumper wire came off. Right. Okie doke. So I guess I'm just running that jumper wire again then. Which is annoying, but not really a lot I can do.
Ah, oh, they had to know you, man. Damn it. Tell you what, I'll try I'll try a different approach. Try a different approach. Alright, so now what should happen? So I've just curled up this um, this jumper wire. So now what should happen is when I drop the chip on, it should the key right here is should, but it should allow the solder that's on the ball on the pad on the chip to flow between the jumper wire and this tiny little wire here. Keyword there is should, that's that's what should happen. And then it should complete the contact. Whether it actually does that is a whole nother question. Now the question is, which freaking way does the RAM chip sit? <laughs> which way does the RAM chip sit? Pin number one, top left. Pin number one, top left. Remember the caps? Yeah, I'll do it. Um, I'll do those manually afterwards. Don't really want to disturb this. Plus, I do want to test that pad afterwards.
Had a stray ball on the edge of the chip then. Right, I'll let that cool for a minute. How's that board is hot. Whew. That board is real hot. Ow. Travis's mom's going over for a lap dance. <laughs> Alright. Do I get a diode reading on that pin? Please, 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 please. <laughs> I do, I do the do do, do do. <laughs> I do the do do. Phil seems happy about continuity than an upcoming lap dance. Oh yeah. All right, some of these haven't actually got that middle cap on. Like they've got the two smaller caps, but they haven't got the bigger one. So I think... I'll just replace them two smaller caps. I think that's the best thing to do. But as you know, I'll just take this one from here. Damn it, you son of a...
Hmm. Guess I can't do them with the with the iron. Uh, I know they're not they're not straight but as long as these make contact I couldn't give a damn As long as I make a contact, I don't care. Yep. Works for me. I'll clean the board up when I'm done. How's that? That board's hot. Right. What's the deal with this now?
Well, hmm. Ah, oh. you son of a bastard. Ah. Oh. Well, it's not that ram cheap. Um, I might try Nah, the board's not brain dead, mate At least I don't think so I might try just reflowing That other ram chip At the top one um, and also the CPU as well. Just give them both a quick little bit of a reflow, just um, just in case there's a little bit of corrosion under them, because it was liquid damaged. Or I could replace the other RAM chip. I could replace the other RAM chip. Maybe they're not backwards compatible. No, maybe they're not cross compatible. I don't know. I think I'll replace the other one. Now that top one looked okay. Oh, is it?
Right. Yeah, so that one was fine. Like, that RAM chip was fine. But I am using an SK Hynix RAM chip. Uh, and the other one was Samsung, so... Yeah, I think I'll match them up so they're both the same model cheers pray Okay. Not even worth doing this bloody switch at this point. It's take, taking too long. Hey ho, you know me, I don't like to be beat. Do 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 do.
Right. Then we'll go grab another cup of coffee, guys. Might go take a quick two minutes, grab a coffee. And that's probably the best thing to do. Chip's too hot to have flux on it at the minute. Yeah, I'll grab a coffee. Cheers, Fuad. I'll be back.
Hello. I'm back. Okay. Here we go. Let's just get this pile of shite rebuild. Shall we? I want to work on one more after this if I can. Don't you just hate it when your balls stick?
Oh dear. What does my life come to? To where I play with my balls on stream. Get rid of some of these. Just get rid of some of them. I know I'm being a bit quiet and not answering chat at the minute, I apologise guys. It's one of the things when you're doing stuff like this, you can't really pay attention to anything else.
camera. We're nearly there anyway. I don't think there's going to be much more I can do if it don't work. Apart from reflowing the CPU. Or potentially reboarding the CPU actually. But that's an option. The question is, do I really want to? Do I really want to be reboarding the CPU if this don't work? Right. We have a stray ball. In fact, we have a few stray balls. How did I not see those while I was doing it? I don't think there is. I think that's all of them. All right. Let's reflow this. Or rather, let's flow this down. That's the magic right there.
Oi, oi, oi. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Ball? Damn it, get off my tweezer. Ah, I'll stuff ya. I'll do it in a minute.
You don't want to stick, do you? Well, you've got no choice. Just saying. Just saying. By the way, what I'm doing here is just the balls are not sticking to the pads. I just scrape the pad a little bit with the tweezers. And that gets rid of whatever oxidation is causing it to not stick. Come on. I'll deal with that one in a minute. Let's just flow the other two down off this one corner. Come on. Right, what the hell's going on with these? What on earth is going on with these? Oi. Oh, 
Wow, there's a few that don't want to stick on this chip. There's a few that don't want to stick on this. You will re ball. Damn it. Stop. Come on. And you lot, come on. We're just waiting on you, buddy. Thank you.
Ah, hang on. Where the hell has that stray ball come from in the middle there? I see ya. Except now we're going to wait for these bloody things to solidify before I can grab ya. Come on, solidify. There you go. Try to tell you. Ah, no worries, mate. I appreciate it either way. There's another one in the corner there as well. There you go. Cool. That will do. Ow. Right. Cool. Oh dear. I'm going to wait for that to cool down before I can test it. Yeah, at one point I did as well, Josh, to be honest. At one point I thought SK Hynix was a knockoff. Right.
Please work. Hmm. Okay, two things. Number one, we have no display. And number two, I think it's still blue screen of death. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. Wow. Still blue screen of death with both RAM chips replaced. The only other thing... That I think it could be is the CPU. But I'm not reboarding the CPU tonight. No way. Not a chance in hell. I will give it a quick reflow. But I'm not reboarding that CPU tonight. No, thank you. What I'll do, I'll reflow it. And if not, then I'll reboil it tomorrow on Twitch. That's the best I'm going to do tonight. Can't do this underneath the scope, by the way. That's it. Now, SK Hynix is a very reputable brand for RAM.
damn it. Well, it's at a point now where the LCD connectors. Oh. It's at a point where the LCD connector is going to need replacing very, very soon. Yeah, like now. Damn it. Now the LCD connector needs replacing. Well, I'll know if it's a, a blue screen based on whether or not the backlight stays on. But that LCD connector is damaged now. It's been it's been taken apart too many times. So yeah, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Well, there isn't anything you can do about that most of the time. Oh, interesting. It didn't come on with no NAND. That's interesting. Rip. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. It's time to give up on this one for tonight. I've spent four hours on this. <laughs> I've spent four hours on this piece of shit. God damn it. Four freaking hours. And we still got no change. Alright, well, it's give up time on that one for tonight. For tonight, it's give up time on that one. I'll reball that CPU tomorrow on Twitch and replace the LCD connector as well. But for now, I'll work on something else. I'll give it up now. There is for tonight, mate. I'll work on it tomorrow on Twitch. I will do a Twitch stream tomorrow because I haven't streamed on Twitch for a while. So... That's why you can buy them in a multi-pack from yours truly. <laughs> yeah, I want to work on something else. Oh, yeah, those connected as well. You give up too easily. Yeah, I just got no patience, mate. That's what it is. No patience. Hashtag sorry, bro. <laughs> nope. Nope. No more on that one tonight. Sorry. Fuck off, Ram. <laughs> just throw the Ram like a boss. I'd have been better off just giving the customer a freaking board. I'd have been better off just giving the customer a freaking board. It could be that Max IC. So tomorrow on Twitch I'll replace that Max IC by the CPU. And then after that, if it still doesn't fix it, then I'll reball the CPU. I'm not going to give up on that one, no way. Nah. -uh. Nope, that one's going to get fixed. Even if it gets a CPU swapped to another board, I am going to get that working. It's going to end up like Trigger's freaking boom by the time I'm finished with that bitch. I ain't going to let it beat me. Retro Magic, welcome. That's the read on the output head when inducted with the encoder still on the board on a PS5. HDMI inductors, do you mean the filters? 
You should be going around about 0.76. Oh, I've got a thermal camera, mate. I've got three. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There's my main one. Right. I'll be back. I'm going to go grab a PS5 to work on for an hour. Why not? I shall be back. I also need some IPA.
all light tight. Whoops. Oh, I am getting too old for this shit. Ha. Too old for this. All right. We back. We back. Right, okay. I'm going to work on this. Poorly memory on PS5. Huh? Don't say that. I've got one with five that I need to do tomorrow. Yay. All right, so. Yet another PS5. This one, I don't have a clue what's wrong with it because all it says is motherboard repair on the ticket. That is all it says is motherboard repair. So let's just have a look and see what the issue is. Shall we? Let's turn her on. Okay, it's booting up. This has got a disk drive issue. I can hear the disk drive going mental. It's not going mental, but it is. Well, it has definitely got an issue. Okay. Does it display? Switch to the ugly cam with my ugly hair. It's just shut off. Hmm. The lung pulsing blood and then it shuts off. I've got a feeling this has been dropped because the disk drive's making a weird noise. I'm not sure if that's coming across on the camera, but I've got a feeling this has been dropped. Or rather coming across on the microphone, not the camera. Okay, so it is taking a disc, but it is shutting off. It is shutting off. Okay, so it's lung pulsing blood. Disc drive makes a strange noise, and it's shutting off. Interesting. Never been opened. Ports seem okay. Squashed ribbon cable. No, because the 
disc drive making a weird noise as well. All right, let's get it apart, shall we? That is pretty clean. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 ho. Hello. Hi. Hey, hey. We have damage. We have damage to a cable. Careful there. Because that connector is damaged. How's that happened? All right, well, I don't think, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue to re-solder that cable. However, however, how has that happened? Because I would love to know. So that don't happen through dropping.
a few screws later. Right. Yeet. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. Yeet, motherfucker. Damn it, now I've got to take that freaking thing off. The freaking cable just come out on it. You son of a bitch. Come on, break that seal. Thank you. Okay. Right, first and foremost, I need to secure that connector. I need to sort that connector out, first and foremost. Because I don't want to damage it any further. Actually, saying that, it's already damaged further. I think we've, we've already got some missing pads on there. I think. Or some damaged pads, rather. But still... There we go. All right. So I just took that connector off because I don't want to damage any more of the pads. So I've just desoldered it. Well, without hot air, basically. I've just desoldered it with the iron instead of uh, just yeeting it off. Just so as I don't damage it, damage it any more than it already is. Cause we've already got a couple of damage pads here. That's why the thing was making a, a weird noise. The disk drive. Or at least I assume that's why it's making a weird noise. <coughs> We can only assume. No, we haven't got any damage pads. Interesting. 
I wonder why that's making a weird noise then. Or have we? Yeah, we have. It has got some lifted pads. Look. Yeah, the pads are lifted and starting to tear. All right, well, I'll deal with that later then. Now that the connector is off the board, I am, I'm not gonna damage it, so I'll deal with that later. I wanna know why this isn't turning on. I did see something interesting. What the freaking hell is that? So that's why I went okay when I first took it out. What the freaking hell is that? Is that chip dead? So yeah, that is why I went okay. Or is that just flux? Is that just flux from the factory? No, I don't think it's Coca-Cola. It might just be flux from the factory. I think it's just flux from factory. One way to be sure, leaky. <laughs> How's it going, John? Right, okay, so I need to figure out why this isn't turning on. Uh, liquid metal. Yeah, it's going to be splooged everywhere, isn't it? Look. Look at the contact on that. Look, what the frick? That's very close. Hmm. It's very close under there.
Aha. Uh -huh. It's close, but I don't think that's the cause. It is close to being uh, an issue. I don't think it's the cause. Cheers, 666. Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think it's a cause. Um, it's very close to being an issue, but... It stops right on the... Uh, right on the borderline. Yeah, I don't think it's an issue, to be honest. I mean, once I've cleared this up, I, I will... at least try and pair it back on. But it's worth, pay it's worth at least pairing it back on. Just to see. How much of a difference it's going to make, I don't know. Damn it. Just fucking splattered it myself now.
Do 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 do. Okie doke. I'm just gonna at least check it. Now that I've um, repositioned the liquid metal, but it's very doubtful this is gonna have made a difference. It was close to being an issue though, for definite. Yeah, it might help if I put the APU um, thing the right way. I'm an idiot. Peter's stream was boring. This one's not much better, mate. I ain't fixed shit yet. Is this gonna boot? Is it gonna boot? And the RAM gets warm. It's 
It's not... Oh! Are you fucking serious? Great quality, Sony. As I stare into a Sony camera. Great quality. Fantastic quality. Hey, give me that white light, bitch. I said, give me that white light, bitch. What is that stuck in an update? Or stuck in an update loop? Hmm. Hmm. It just turned off. It went to a white light and then it turned off. Huh? Huh? That went to a white light. No, it shouldn't happen with a white light, no. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, so now it's not turning off. But it's not displaying. Okay, that's actually detecting that there's a HDMI plugged in. So that's picking up that there's a HDMI plugged in on my TV. As in... It actually saves PlayStation 5. It knows there's a PS5 there. But it's just not displaying. And... Well, it... It isn't turning off now. I wonder if this literally is drop damage and now it's stuck in an update loop. Hmm. 
Power button is not responsive. All right, let's try and get it in safe mode. Yeah, I'll dip the IPA, the uh, HDMI in IPA, just in case it was a dirty cable. Okay, is that going to go in safe mode? Apparently so. Okay, we have a display issue. This is drop damage, I think. It goes in safe mode. Across the HDMI inductors. You shouldn't get any ohms reading from one filter to the other. It should be open line. You shouldn't get continuity from one for one so one side of the filter to the other, mate. Maybe the retimer is damaged. I've got a feeling more likely the HDMI port's damaged, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna check the pins on the port here. Yeah. On the board itself. All right, I think we've got a display issue and I think it's in an update loop as well of some sort. So let's have a look into a display jobby then. Interesting. The pins are perfect. Interesting. Those pins are soldered properly. Or rather, those pins are not loose. Okay, they are slightly internally damaged. That's just a pube. But those pins, some of them do look very slightly damaged. Okay. I'll try changing the port. Let's try changing the port.
Cheers, Jimmy. Ah, bollocks. I left that freaking piece of foam on there. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeet, motherfucker. Oh, kid, okay. There we go. Alright, let me just grab a port. Any luck fixing anything? No, not tonight, not so far. I just wasted four bloody hours on a PS4, on a Nintendo Switch. For no other reason than because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, PS5 port, there it is, this is true indeed. Indeed, yeet motherfucker. Right.
Gonna hold that there. And we should be good. Nope, we're not. Wow, that's way off. Good Lord. I'm the best. Ha! <laughs> Good Lord, I'm the best. Such a great technician. Looks crooked. No, your head's tilted. See, look, don't know what you're talking about. Not a clue. Not a clue. Not a clue. See? It was perfect the first time, okay? I just did it again because I wanted to. Alright. Ooh, that was a bit of liquid metal there then. Naughty, naughty. Where did that come from? All right, uh, let's give it a nudge test. Good, 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 good. Oh, you son of a slag bag whore. There's always one, isn't there? There's, all, there's always just one pin. That's like, I'm better than the rest of you. I don't want to stick to a PS5. Prick. I'm too good to be on a PS5. I don't even remember which one it is now.
Right, is the trace damaged or something? Huh. Right, let's just test all of these pins. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. And ten. They're showing open. Oh damn it, I'm gone. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're just not going to beat because the diode reading is 0 0.77. Right, Uh, someone wanted me to get a resistance reading between the filters on a PS5. So, these filters should not have continuity between each other. The ohm reading is overload. Test it from here. Six thousand ohms. Six thousand ohms from from one filter to the other. So testing them there, testing pin one and three is basically the same as testing this filter like this. 
It's just that if I push too hard on that, it's gonna it's gonna damage it. Okay. I'm getting decent readings on all of them pins anyway. Or rather I'm getting readings on all them pins for the HDMI port. So we have a successfully soldered port. Is that going to display? Black screen, no, no signal. Hmm. Will it display in safe mode? It's a 5 volt on the connector, I don't know mate. I'm getting a white light though. Uh, I think the encoder's probably gone bad. I'm getting a white light in safe mode. I'm going to change the encoder on this. So when I put this into safe mode, I'm getting a white light. Whereas I'm getting no display. So, I think this is possibly a bad encoder. Um, let's just see if we get 5 volts and 3.3 .3 volts quickly. Uh, we've got 5 volts there. And we've got 3.3. .3. We've got 5 volts here as well. And 3.56 volts there. Yeah, we're getting 5 volts and 3 volts on the... Uh, on the HDMI port. Messing with the PS5 and those wires below the APU are showing 0 ohms. But on a good board they're showing 280 ohms. Um. What wires, mate? I don't know what... 
I don't know what you uh, referring to, mate. Right, that's got brains. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the if the encoder's gone bad and basically the uh, console's trying to display in a normal resolution like 1080p or 4K, then that could potentially cause a blue light of death. Because that's the symptoms we're facing. So, I'm going to grab myself a quick smoke and then I'm going to change the encoder. If that don't work, then I'm going to bed. And I'm going to cry myself to sleep because I won't fix anything. Can you measure in ohms? I've just measured it, mate. I've just measured them for you. From top to bottom on those filters, you're supposed to get zero ohms. From left to right, I'm getting 6,000 ohms. That's what I was just measuring for you. All right. I haven't got my phone on me, mate. It fell out of my pocket as I was coming back up the ladder. So I'll check these scores a little later on, bud. Okie doke. So yeah, I'm thinking possibly a bad encoder on this.
Come on. Those chips take way too long to come off. Oh dear. Uh, no worries, Prince. Um, yeah, if you're getting different readings on each one, mate, then you've definitely got an issue, most likely with your encoder. Oh wow, that pad there is quite oxidised. Hmm. What's with the oxidation on that pad? Okay. Right. No, oxidation can be caused just by um, the fact that I used, uh, I removed the uh, tube we know flux.
Right, I'm going to tin this chip because it's brand new. Never been tinned. Okay. Thank you, Fire Shots. I really appreciate that, mate. Right. Okay.
Right. Ah. Is it going to actually display something now? Oh, I think it's overheated. I think it's overheated. Squeaky screw. And it's still not this. Oh, now it's just turning off completely. Hmm. That's not overheating. Hmm. Okay, that does go into safe mode still. But it's just shutting down quicker. Hmm. What the hell is going on with this? It's still not displaying either. It's still no display. It's still registering as PS5, so... I don't know. I don't know, but I think I need to look at it tomorrow because it's getting too late. It is 4.15am. No, the 729 won't fit. It's physically smaller. It's physically smaller than the 739, and the pinouts are completely different as well. Yeah, so it's still recognising that there's actually a display there, but... Hmm... This could be a safe bridge issue. We see we we used to see this on the PS4, like a phantom white light, a phantom white light of death. Um, that could be safe bridge related. Yeah. <laughs> nice Halloween mask. Why do you handle the metals? I'm not sure what you mean there, mate. If you mean why do I touch the board, because I've never had an issue with ESD. There's no issues with ESD in my workshop. Try wiggling the HDMI cable. No, it's not the cable. No. It could be safety related. I'll have to have a look tomorrow, though. But... 
Yeah, it's quarter past four, guys, in the morning. So, guys, thank you all so much. Honestly, it's been uh, it's been fun. Um, tonight was my normal stream night anyway, but um, yeah, it was my birthday, so that made it a little bit more fun. Um, but yeah. Thank you all. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to look at this tomorrow on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, um, the Coda 2015 on Twitch. Um, let me get a link. Um, I would, but I've got no, no, I've got no cable. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash the Coda. Oh, the code of 2015 um, on Twitch. I've got our keyboard plugged in. So, yeah. Thank you all. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Thank you all for the support, the donations, the gifts. I really appreciate it, honestly. Genuinely appreciate it. Thank you all. I'll see you all in the next stream. Tomorrow on Twitch. Good night, guys.